what is going on my fellow normakians and viewers i just kind of wanted to make a video talking about the newly released very popular game from bungie and activision destiny now this game has been anticipated by many fans of bungie's uh work which many people know um they are the people behind the halo franchise on the xbox and uh you know they've been working on this destiny title for a while now and every time we saw it before its release it was just always a treat it was something just so much so big so ambitious it was like wow what Bungie doing here is a revolution. I, I can't believe they're doing this. They're undertaking something so cool. Something so different from what else is out there as far as the first person shooter genre has to offer. And they're making, you know, a first person shooter MMO open world, very socially connected experience. And, you know, this game has finally released and uh the reviews they have came out um not everybody's but you know most reviews of course people got their hands on the game and you know we all could judge how we feel about the game and uh, obviously um a lot of people bought it sold very well far as i can tell it did release for the last generation consoles and the new generation consoles as far as a pc version goes there's rumors in the air that could come later on um, but i think it'd be great if they do release a pc version later on but um, the purpose of this video is to kind of tell you how I feel about the game and why I no longer own the game anymore. I did buy it right at midnight, made a unboxing. I only got the standard edition on PlayStation 4 and um, I say get the PlayStation versions of the game if you have a PlayStation platform and you want to play the game. Unless you have friends on the Xbox platform, it's totally understandable because that's one of the things you need friends to really get a awesome experience with this game a very fun experience uh just it's the experience that is uh, that you're supposed to get with this game it's best if you have friends with you for the most part but yeah so i got this game a lot standard edition ps4 yeah i was saying if you get it for the playstation platforms um or try to get it for the playstation platform if you can which is ps3 or playstation 4 because you do get exclusive content that is exclusive to the PlayStation platforms only until like the end of next year or something like that. It's a time exclusive content. But the thing about it is like, well, it's Destiny. All you know, you're getting and with this exclusive content, you're getting you know different gear, and that's one of the big things about this game: the customization capabilities that you're able to add to the three classes: the Titan, the Warlock, and the uh, Hunter. Um, you know gear is awesome i mean to have it right from the start some really awesome stuff you know just having that exclusive to your console that's awesome so it's just yeah take advantage of that if you guys can but um yeah anyway the, down to my experience with this game the thing about destiny like you know it was known to be the open world mmo first person shooter one i'm not in mmos two um i i, I don't have a deep love for first person shooters like most people do the thing about the first person uh shooter genre has been oversaturated for far too long and it's still oversaturated i mean it doesn't bother me too much and that didn't stop me from buying the game or lose interest in the game in any way it's just it's a first person shooter i think it's good to point out that you know it is just like most of these games that are popular and most people play um but it's the fact that I'm not great at FPS's when it comes to a competitive standpoint. So like the Crucible, I suck ass, basically. So I'm not going to have much fun trying to get into the Crucible. I mean, I did it a few times. Yeah, I, you know, I just played just to play. But a lot of times just, no, this is not for me. Um, but when it came to like, you know, playing by myself or doing co-op, obviously you're facing AI and it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm more of a story mode type guy when it comes to FPS's. So it wasn't a big deal when it came to a co-op or single player experience. But when it came to a multiplayer competitive experience, no, not for me. <laughs> but I had fun at times when I did play a little bit competitively. Um, MMO, just not MMOs. Most MMOs, as you know, are on a PC. Um, the ones I have tried, most popular ones, you know, just the ones I felt like checking out 
win for me. Um, you know, they try to incorporate the MMO RPG elements into this game, and I think they did it really well. I wouldn't exactly say MMO, but there is um, a lot of uh, open space for you to get the MMO feel, I guess you could say. But I mean, I, maybe I don't know to understand the. Um, real meaning of an MMO if that if it really does have the elements and I just didn't really notice but RPG elements are there in a sense uh, just really the customization aspect I mean I can't really say that to even um, RPG ish actually I really enjoyed it that's the thing I didn't feel like I was doing RPG um, uh, you know when it RPG elements when it came to like switching my guns my uh, items I didn't feel get the RPG feel I just felt like oh I'm changing stuff for my character and it's just when i play rpg which i am not a fan of rpgs either i am very picky um i feel like i'm doing chores they don't make it very interactive and fun that's the thing about destiny they made it interactive and fun when it came to switching stuff up uh when it came to your stats and your character you made it your own and you had a very enjoyable experience uh switching stuff around um for you to move forward in the game now that's another thing me personally i can't stay on one game i can't come home come uh, come home from school come home from work and get back to that same game like when it came comes to like something like that it's like it's a mainstream game that's the thing about uh most of these games they're mainstream a lot of people play it, a lot of people love it and that's not bad it's just i tend to buy into the hype and i really was interested in destiny but you know the hype also you know made a big effect of you know me wanting to you know get this game and everything i get the game i'm playing it and just like everybody else everybody well most of people even a review said this um they enjoy the game it's fun but it gets repetitive and that's the thing i i i, I can't come home from you know home and uh, from uh, from school and work and keep coming back to the game to do the same thing over and over and over again um just that going from planet to planet fighting the same enemies or fighting maybe slightly different enemies i don't know it's just the cycle continued and it's just like new area shoot 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 new area shoot 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 i mean that's the point of the game of course and yes you get to drive vehicles which is cool and i don't know something about it just i i i i after a little while, I lost complete connection with the game. I was like, okay, I can't keep doing this. Um, I actually saw me not, not wanting to play the game anymore. So once I saw that was going to be the case, I decided just to get rid of it. Because uh, a week later, I feel, hey, I should have just rented this game. But I had a good time. I recommend it if you are a fan of FPSs, uh, MMOs, um, stuff with RPG elements. I mean, this is a great game, especially if you have friends that will play with you for sure. Um, yeah, this is a great game and you should um, get that experience with Destiny. I recommend you rent it first and decide from there uh, considering there's no demo of any sort. But um, the game's just going to get bigger and better. The Bungie, over time, is unlocking new events and um, things for players to do. They're going to be releasing DLC over time. I believe the first one releases in December. And there is a season pass that includes the first two DLCs for $35. If you did get the um, better editions um, outside of the standard edition, it did include the season pass. So lucky for those guys um, they'll be able to play the DLCs when they come out and offer uh, even more to the game for you to have fun in but you know I, I I just I couldn't do it anymore it's like my sanity of one to enjoy the game uh, became off balance if that makes any sense and I just couldn't do it anymore like I have fun when I play with friends but when it came to those bosses sometimes like those really intense bosses it took forever to kill and you kept dying you had to get healed it's like man i suck i i don't deserve to <laughs> play with these guys i don't know it's just that was my experience i'm picky and um, i had a feeling that i wasn't gonna fully enjoy the game like some of my counterparts that uh, really were looking forward to this game and still playing it as we speak but I'm glad they're enjoying it. With this what this happens to me all the time except I really try to get into the game. I probably put in 13 hours into the game, so that's not bad. I stopped at level 18, I believe, and I was a warlock and my character didn't look all that badass. Um I I looked weird to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to do something different. Um, but it didn't really work out, but uh, my last Destiny experience was the Crucible, but let's talk about the main experience. I jumped in 
into my best friend's with uh, best friend's Destiny, Destiny's uh, game. Um, he was doing the story mode, and he's a level what 26 now. Um, yeah, he was probably at 26 then, and uh, I just jumped into his game because it was joinable. So I, let me play with someone so I don't get freaking bored. Uh, jumped into his game, and I he's playing a level I never played. I'm like. Okay, now he didn't have his mic plugged in, so I was saying a whole bunch of random crap. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, hmm, if I'm not mistaken, this looked like this could be the last level. And it was. We got the last cutscene and everything. I haven't even beat the game yet. I'm like, hmm. So, that was it. Okay. Cool. It was a little bit underwhelming. I'm like, so that was the end of the game. I, I, I think I was only like three missions away from the last level. I'm, I'm just like... Hmm. It didn't seem like this was worth my time for sure. So, um, technically, I didn't beat the game in a way I did, and I was just done. I was just done. I went, we did a competitive match, and I just sucked bad. And it's like, nah, this isn't for me. I'm just gonna let everybody else have at it. That's why I like to say, when it comes to mainstream games that everybody keeps playing over and over and over again and love, like, uh, typically first-person shooters. Let's just say. I was like, uh, most of the time, and pretty much all the time, like, and this just with games in general, it could be even RPGs like Skyrim and um, Fallout, and you know, all these mainstream games, uh, Mass Effect, it's just like, it's not for me, but I'll let everybody else have at it and enjoy the experience, I'll just go play what I enjoy to play, I guess I have a weird taste in games, I don't really care, I like what I like, I'm more of an action-adventure uh, type guy, third-person shooter, um, I don't know. I mean, my favorite franchise of all time is Kingdom Hearts. Um, and that's yeah, so that probably be Uncharted. So I mean, kind of give you a feel of what I'm really into for the most part. But yeah, I mean, I guess in a way that's my Destiny review. I mean, I've been saying it ever since I got the game. I give it like a 7.5, more likely a seven, a six. I know some of these people um, in the. Uh, uh, reviews have been given as sits is definitely not sits it is a fun game worth getting just make sure you have friends to play with make sure yeah, I mean I know most people uh, like to stick on one game and put like one over 100 hours in see I'm not that type of guy like I'm more of a story mode guy uh, straight to the story don't have me going around doing chores because I'm gonna get bored of that <laughs> Um, unless I have a, a awesome co-op experience doing it like if it were something like Saint Row for example you know you you could do two-player co-op and there's a whole bunch of missions to do side missions main missions but I didn't feel like I was doing chores the thing about Saint Row and what I really enjoy about it everything about it is enjoyable the game uh, from the gameplay to the story to the characters uh, the weapons and just all the action just the overall experience of the Saint Row franchise has made the whole experience enjoyable compared to something like Grand Theft Auto um, I just couldn't get into Grand Theft Auto 1 through 4 I did very much enjoy 5 uh, it felt like I was going around doing chores it was just dull, dull and boring and I know San Andreas is a lot of people's favorites I just I don't know just can't sit there and play a game for uh, an hour or more to enjoy it I gotta be sucked in right from the beginning or at least the first 30 minutes I'm just gonna be like okay what the hell is this and destiny wasn't like that it was just over time just like most people it gets repetitive and that repetitive uh, this for me was the last straw um, as I kept playing like I said I put 13 hours in that's over 10 hours that's almost a record for me not really I, I'll put more hours into a game it's just straight to the point man straight to the point or have some great story elements and that's the thing about destiny uh you know it has a story but it's off and on and i mean yeah i mean it is off and on and that's the point of it but i don't know it's just so gloomy i guess i don't know it's just like all right what's going on oh that's what's going on okay adventure adventure okay uh, we're learning some more stuff hmm okay and like i said it's a fun game but just didn't do it for me so I got rid of it while it was still uh, worth, uh, worth something a week later I got $40 from it no no like almost 50 or something like that so um, that helps when um, you know you're low on money and you know you're not going to be playing the game what's the point of letting it sit there on my shelf and when it's not going to be played it's going to be played randomly so that's basically it as far as my decimal review goes I mean 
if you understand uh, where I'm coming from or not. That's pretty much uh, what I got to say. Um, tell me what your uh, Destiny experience is like. I mean, if you enjoy it, great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That means your money was worth it. You're going to, you know, um, definitely help Bungie and Activision out in their 10-year vision for this game as they're trying to make it last this long, that long. And, uh, you know, with the season pass, you know, you got something to look forward to. And hopefully they do a lot more. That makes me want to buy the game again. That's what they need to do is keep it spanning. I just kind of felt like it wasn't enough. Like, for example, the tower. Um, you know, you got that city. I mean, uh, for those who played the alpha and beta, uh, you see that city outside the tower. It's like, man, it's beautiful. I wish I could go out there. Why can't we go out there? I want to go into that city. Come on. But anyway, I don't normally make reviews, but that is technically my review. I should have some footage up of me playing like, oh my god, like one of my first few moments of the game. So hopefully that gameplay uh, occupied you enough to pay attention to what I had to say, understand what I had to say if you didn't understand well. I mean, oh well. <laughs> That's just me. But um yeah, like I said, 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, basically one of those two. I'll just give it a 7. And uh, that's it for this review. But yeah, like, makes, uh, like I said, leave some feedback, um, comments of any kind. Definitely welcome and appreciate it. Just kind of let me know what your Destiny experience is like or whatever comes to mind. Uh, maybe sudden that um, you want to reply to my uh, how I feel about the game or something like that. So yeah, other than that, thumbs up, thumbs down if you enjoyed the video or not, and subscribe if you're not already for any other gaming content I post on my channel for those who are just random viewers passing by, but of course to my current subscribers, thanks for supporting me and watching this video, um, I'll leave it at that until next time my fellow Normakians and viewers, Normak signing out, peace.